next speaker on that stage is the CTO of Stellar. And Stellar combines satellites with terrestrial technologies to achieve the maximum reach for its customers. And we will now find out if satellites will also drive the future of mobility. Please welcome on stage Anila Böse. I'm sure you know it, the feeling being stuck in traffic and cut off from your digital life. Your phone calls constantly dropped, how annoying. You have a big screen in your car, perhaps a pillar-to-pillar -pillar screen in a very modern car, but it's not possible to dial in in a Zoom call or watching a Netflix. You ask Alexa, and Alexa say, I do not have an answer for you. Because, you, because your car is offline right now. How annoying, how stressful in the, in the traffic. Did you know that 40% of our highways worldwide suffer from poor or no internet? Could you imagine autonomous driving or automated driving without connectivity, without a stable broadband? 40%, that's massive, that hinders us in the transformation of mobile mobility, of the new mobility, and the car manufacturers and the whole industry could not progress towards to new mobility. To solve these challenges, we founded Stella. I'm Manela Böse one of the co-founders and CC of Stellar, and I'm excited to introduce to you the Stellar constellation today at the Shift Mobility. To solve these problems of poor or no connectivity worldwide in the mobility, we built on space and ground technology a new mobi mobile broadband connectivity. We call it a Stellar. Internet. And now I have a short movie for you because we support not just only cars and vehicles, we support the entire transport uh, industry as well as remote areas, and we guarantee our digital sovereignty to our assets in Europe. What does it mean? Stellar is the first mobility-driven, sustainable deep tech. At first and foremost, we are mobility-driven. Mobility-driven for us means market-driven. Together with leading car manufacturers, together with leading tier one, we co-developing the hardware. We co-developing a hybrid automotive-grade terminal and antenna as well to serve the mobility. We are a deep tech at first. That means our IP is AI-based software, is our brain inside of this constellation. And we are proud that we are sustainable by design because we are deeply convinced that space technology has to leave more than a positive footprint in the world. That's our constellation. In the middle of our constellation, there's our brain called Scala. Scala orchestrates the constellation of our satellites, orchestrates our terminal, gateway, ground station, satellites, together with terrestrial 5G and Wi-Fi stations. We leverage existing uh, existing cellular mobility and satellite-based connectivity, we call this NTN connectivity. 
If you drive in, in your car, for example, on a highway which is 100 kilometer, and you have four connectivity gaps, what can we do with this constellation? You know the situation, you are in a gap, and for one minute or two minutes, you can do nothing. Our software show us where a gap came, and before you are in a gap, we can use a software-based, uh, 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 AI-based map to predictively detect and close this connectivity uh, gap. And you have the same situation, like you are coming home with your mobile phone, you have uh, LTE or 4G or 5G connectivity coming in your home, and then you have a Wi-Fi connectivity. You will never detect that both uh, networks will change, and the same will happen in your car when you come from a terrestrial to a satellite-based network. That's just possible with a very, very uh, a complicated and uh, or complex AI-based software. One of the most important components is a hybrid terminal. Hybrid means the terminal has the ability to connect with via Wi-Fi, via cellular 5G, and via satellite-based 5G. We develop this terminal together with car manufacturers to meet the strong requirement of a vehicle in terms of power consumption, interferences, package, uh, certification, homologation, and so on. One part of the terminal is our antenna. Here you can see here you can see our liquid crystal-based antenna is the second generation, and this antenna could integrate it in a glass roof or in a panoramic roof. The terminal always leverages multi-accesses, such satellite-based, cellular-based, or Wi-Fi connectivity, which gives you, gives you a great comfort uh, for broadband connectivity. On the left, you see our two antennas, which is a big difference. This was a proof of concept of the first generation. We tested this in a racetrack. And on the right side, you see our second generation uh, holding and testing by Laurent, one of our management team members, uh, which has now just the um, size of an uh, Apple MacBook Air very slim, so we can integrate this in a car because a 5G NTN antenna have to be installed in the roof. Our phased approach is aligned with the timeline from the automotive industry. This means we have the timeline for uh, perspective ARAs, automated, automated and uh, assisted driving, and to meet these timelines, we will start with our 506 super intelligent and smart satellites. Smart means that these satellites are embedded uh, with edge computing power and with Scala, or one part of Scala of the intelligent software. Have a higher altitude with 1,000 kilometer and helps us to, uh, to have a first time to market uh, on this line for the first pilot customers. Later, in phase number two, starting 28, 30, we will launch the rest of the satellites in a bit lower altitude in the lower Earth orbit, uh, in summary, 2,464 satellites. At the end, this constellation helps us to coverage a global connectivity with 20 times less satellite than our competitors. One of our most important pillars is sustainability. Why is sustainability? We know that we have a lot of debris and waste in space now. So we thought about what can we do to avoid emissions, debris, and waste in space. And 
For this, we use also Scala, a software which avoid collisions in, uh, in, in space, for example. We use a bit of higher altitude, for example, like Starlink, to uh, avoid lights uh, in a, on, a, on a night sky and, and keep the sky clear. We are sustainable on ground. We are using multicast for streaming digital medias. Um, and we think that's, um, that an, an, uh, enables us uh, to have a lower energy consumption uh, on the ground sector. We leverage and accelerate mobility as a service as well uh, and help to have a smaller footprint at ground level. We are designed for a global positive impact, which means that we are supporting from the beginning the SSR, the Space Sustainability Rating, powered by the MIT. We are working together with EPFL, very strong relationship with ESA and World Economic Forum. And we are very proud that we received the first certification for sustainability in space last month in London, uh, powered by SSR. Who is Stella? We have uh, Damien and Hassan, our co-founders. They are coming from the space industry. And Stella is their third constellation, LEO constellation, which means LEO Earth Orbit Space Constellation with satellites. We have Simona coming from SAS, a very well-known and perhaps the biggest uh, satellite operator now. And we have Laurent coming from Nokia and have a strong um, long-term experience in cellular communication and connectivity. Me, by myself, I'm coming from the automotive industry. And so uh, we could, um, yeah, we, we, we are a very good mix to, to meet the requirements from the automotive industry and know the challenges in the space industry. Stella is one year old, was founded 21, is based in France, and we are proud to be European rooted. My heart, or I can say our heart, beats for space and mobility for automotive, and therefore I'm very happy that I had the possibility to uh, show the stellar connectivity and the stellar constellation at Shift Mobility. Anela, it's our pleasure to have you here. It's such an amazing approach. You just mentioned in the beginning you're focusing on mobility on cars. Yeah. Because I could really need your help at home. I have some connectivity gaps there as well. So maybe that's just the second step. We do it at home too. <laughs> okay. Not Perfect. just for remote Perfect. areas for Berlin trip. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I was just laughing when you when you showed um, like it's 40% connection gap, but because for me personally it feels like much more. Thank you. <laughs> it's Sometimes like 80 depends to 85 a bit something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something. Perfect. And there was another number. You said phase two in 2030, approximately 2,500 satellites. Yeah. This is still 20 times less than the others. Yes, that's, that's, that's true, and very often we, uh, we ask about this, and uh, the question is, why, how could you cover uh, the global world with yeah. this amount of satellites, because Starlink has uh, 20 times less more, and uh, 20 uh, times more satellites, and uh, the answer is always coming always from Hassan, he's our brain behind Scala, <laughs> uh, that we are using edge computing to interconnect satellites, that we have this uh, 506 super intelligence uh, satellites, they, c they are using edge computing to uh, uh, ensure that we have a global coverage with less satellites. Crazy. 2,500 still sounds so much, but it's not. For me, it's the first. Uh, coming from the automotive industry sounds much too, <laughs> but it's really, really, really less. Perfect. Perfect. So, any questions from you guys? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I trust in you. Thank you. We're working with satellite companies and talking about the debris. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about to uh, put parachutes on 
No. Satellites. Yeah. What is your way over on that one? You said you have a uh, policy or anything. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, the answer is Scala too. So we are, do not develop the satellites by our own. We do not develop the hardware, the terminals, the gateways by our own. We do it together with. Uh, with uh, with company they are, they have a, a long term experience as this, but our IP is Scala, and um, this software um, is responsible for the interlink with the satellites to avoid or try to avoid collisions. The collisions. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any further questions? No questions anymore. Then. Again, Anela, thank you very much for being with us today.